Uh. It's been a while. <laughs> anything this week and I'm very sorry. I'm helping with conference and I have a pretty big load but I'm thankful for it and everything but I have not updated you guys on pretty much anything. I have kept on my eating journey but it see it looks a little different and I noticed that I was going to do this and I knew that that's going to happen at the beginning of me even sharing at all because this is life and I know that even though life happens, I have to roll with the punches. I have to take the lemon to make lemonade. So during conference week, there's a lot of unhealthy food and I'm usually more likely to have these unhealthy food because like health, unhealthy food, but also because I'm tired and I'm just a little bit more hungrier than normal, I'm wanting this food. Fortunately, this church, they have healthy options. Wednesday, I had a salad yesterday. I had a salad during the day. Two hours later, I was hungry. Um, let me back up. Oh. So, breakfast, I had protein coffee. Then I had a salad. Lasted me two hours. Then I had a brownie. Um, not gonna lie. Then I had a bag of chips. I missed dinner because I was doing work, so I didn't really get to eat dinner. I had a stick of beef jerky and um, a fruit bar for dinner. Today, I had protein coffee. So there's that. Then I had a Santa Fe chicken wrap because I thought if I eat a little heavier, like it'll be okay. I need that protein to move around. Well, it kept me fuller. It kept me fuller longer than I expected. Also, I had to have an early dinner because of people rushing in and it was the first night. So because of me having a heavier lunch and then I had coffee because I needed coffee, but it wasn't just any coffee. It was an Australian Aussie coffee. So there's espresso, um, a little bit of milk and ice cream. And if you know me, I am lactose intolerant. Why did I do that to myself? And that was the first time in weeks I've had milk and ice cream. So I did not feel good. Then they were like, you need to eat because you know, I was gonna be there another five hours. So I ate at 4.35, ate at 4.30 or five and I had tacos. Mm, I was not feeling it. I literally shoved it in my mouth. But I had two tacos and that was it. I didn't have anything else. And I had water all day. So and I had nothing but water, coffee, protein. Yeah. But because of the coffee, it would dehydrate me. So the regular gallon of water that I drink every day, which you'll see a video on that here soon. Just showing you my update. Um does not hold me and I was outside and so I was still dehydrated on my gallon of water that I finished so 
just gotta figure out how to replenish that gallon of water when I do that. But a lot of information at once because I don't really remember to breathe on the days like this. But hopefully tomorrow I can find some time to talk to you guys and tell you about my day. If not, I will just vlog it, which you probably just want to see that anyway. So I'm gonna go to bed. I didn't really set myself up for success as far as scheduling and everything. Conference has been crazy good. Conference was from Wednesday of last week to Sunday. So it was a good five days of impact. Just wanna let you guys know. I stayed on my apple cider vinegar concoction. I did a cup and a half in the morning and I also did the cup and a half at night. I also stayed on my protein and I added coffee, so I would do protein coffee. I drank protein twice in one day to see how it would make me feel, but I didn't like how much calories I was taking in by drinking protein and the protein not holding me throughout the day. My concern with doing conference is that I was afraid of not eating enough, so I'd be hungry in like two or three hours, which happened when I ate a salad that was provided to us. I would eat the salad and the banana, but two hours later, I was starving and then looking for food. I know for me, I could have prepared. I would be gone from my house from seven, eight, nine in the morning till around 10 at night for the those five days. And with no access to a refrigerator, it wasn't a smart idea to try to bring healthy food. They had fruit bars, um, they had chips, which are not <laughs> healthy at all, but it was something that would help. So I'm not gonna lie, I did struggle. I did eat brownies here and there, um, and I did have unhealthy coffee. And I realized that it's okay and that you can bounce back from these things. The beginning of conference, I had dropped half of the weight that I gained from the fast. And then during conference week, I gained that 2.4 pounds back. But I think it was highly because of all the water weight that I had on and the extra salt that I ate throughout the week. And I also gained a lot of muscle from the endurance that my body has had to keep up with. Uh, my body was completely worn down. By Monday, I could barely walk. Tuesday, I was getting a little better. Wednesday, yesterday was pretty okay. But all three days, I was dealing with swollen ankles, um, hurting knees. So it was just because of the wear and tear that my body took. Um, since then, I have cleaned up my eating. I am eating a lot of Eat Nashville. There's no sponsorship for that. I just love them. Their meals are 500 or less, unless you're doing the gains section where you actually are gaining muscle. And so um, then you are going to have more than 500 calories. What I've learned the past couple weeks is that I'm not taking in enough protein. But to take in more protein, you're taking in more calories. Um, but the protein I need to build the muscle to help burn the fat. So I think over the next couple weeks, I'm going to take a week and just really focus on eating more protein um, to see how that affects my body, whether I gain weight or lose weight. We're gonna figure this out together. <laughs> but there's a lot that goes into losing weight and I know that and I know I'm gonna have weeks like this, you know, throughout my journey. And it's not these weeks that keep us from our goal. It's what we do after we finish those weeks and how fast we bounce back. Other than that, it's been good. So, uh, 
yeah I hope that was everything <laughs> if not then I will come back but until next time people um, be breezy stay cool and love Jesus